Hi guys, it's the Cello Guru. I'm coming to you from Alameda Point, California. And it's a beautiful day today, the sun is shining. And I wanna to talk to you about something called over-practicing, okay? So over-practicing means making something more difficult than it is. Um, and in that way, you can do the original thing that you were trying to do much easier because you've made it harder, you've over-practiced it, you've found many different ways to work um, on something similar. And then when you can do those things, the original thing is easier. This is called over-practicing. I do it all the time. So how do you over-practice? Okay, what you wanna do is identify a problem that you want to work on, okay? Find the problem. You're going to practice the problem five times, okay? Um, and then you're going to find at least three different ways to practice something similar, um, like using a different bowing, a different speed, or playing the same thing on a different string, okay? So I'll, sh I'll show you what I mean. Say I'm having troubles getting into fourth position on my C scale, okay? So these are the notes from my C scale. <laughs> hard to find sometimes right you should be able to just hit right there but if you're having troubles with it you have to identify that problem okay really it's D to E that's where the problem is so I don't want to keep going because that's a waste of my time right I want to identify the problem specifically okay it's D to E so many times I ask students to play a certain thing and they play all the things around it every time, which takes up tons of time. And I really just want, for example, here, those two notes. Okay, you make sure that the first note is in tune, okay? If it's not, you're wasting your time. If you're shifting from here, people don't take the time to do that. You need to set up in tune. First note is just as important as the second note, right? So I'm going to do it five times. Super carefully. Okay, good. So that's the first thing. The second thing I want you to do is pick uh, something similar, but not the same that you can work on. So I'm going to work on the other strings. So I'm going to find the G fourth finger and go to fourth position. Okay. So do that a little while, even do the five times thing with that. Go to the G string. Okay, good. Now I'm going to go to the C string, which is the hardest. It's so thick. Okay. Okay, and then I do the five times thing on that, okay? Um, now I'm going to do it another way. That was one way to over-practice. Now I'm going to do it with speed, okay? So let's see. Okay, so I did it faster. Maybe I do it on the other strings faster. strings like that okay and then let's change the bowing so let's do slurs with it that might be interesting I'm gonna keep it fast I'm gonna do it five times okay 
Let's see if I can even do it faster. <laughs> than my original thing which was just so now that becomes easy because I over practiced it okay so let's review the steps of over practicing um, you want to identify your problem specifically if it's just two notes it needs to be two notes and not all the setting around it okay that's a waste of time identify three different ways to over practice it for me it was playing it on, th on all the different strings, then playing it faster, and then slurring it. So those things made it harder. Um, and then you go back and try the original problem, and it's probably much better. Is it better? See if it's better. Um, if you over practice a little bit every day, you're going to be learning more than how to just fix the original problem, which is a benefit to it. Use your imagination, make up ways um, to practice. Have fun with it. It's a great way to get better and have some fun in the process. And we always learn more when we are having fun. Right? Yep. Okay, guys, that's it for today. I hope you go over practice some things and get better. Bye now.